extremists fight not for the best interest of their family. Yeah. Most people fight for the best interest of their family. The extremists and the Al-Qaeda members uh, fight for a cause beyond most people's imagination. Right. The Sunni insurgency, most of them are fighting because they're afraid that the political environment being developed in Baghdad will uh, will isolate their family economically, politically forever. And if you can give them some hope, and they're ready, that they understand that killing is not making everybody... It, if you think we're tired of the violence, uh -huh. you ought to go and talk to average everyday Iraqis, which I've done. Yeah. Sunni, Shia, and Kurd, the vast majority, live in fear, are fed up with it, and they're going to fire Maliki if he doesn't deliver. Uh -huh. You know, you think we're disappointed with Bush at home? The average Iraqi is disappointed with Maliki and then some, and he senses that. So there are people on the ground in Iraq who, if you could convince that their family has a better future being part of something, they will be part of it rather than try to knock it down. Do you have any plans to go to Iraq anytime soon? Uh, yes, yeah, as soon as I can. Uh, but, but the economic piece of the pie... I'm trying to hitch a ride with somebody sometimes. Yeah, uh, I need to get you up there. I, I, I promise I'll try to get Either that or I need to do, get them to, to waive the age limit so I can... Well, there you go. In I mean, a uniform. I, I, I literally may do some of my reserve day. I don't know yet, but we're talking about doing it. But, but what I'm saying after five visits, the stereotype that's being sold by politicians here at home is there are a bunch of animals who've been fighting among themselves for a thousand years. Right. That is not the truth. Now, I have been there five times, and I have met Sunni, Shia, and Kurds who are very sophisticated people who have a lot of problems to overcome, but do have it in their heart to reject violence in Al-Qaeda. Right. Uh, and we just need to empower them. But put yourself in their shoes. Would you turn in the IED bomb-making factory down the street if you had no confidence in the police and the right. army to protect you? Was the United States going to give up its nuclear deterrent? There you go. Yeah. So, so this is what the new military part of the strategy will do. It will add capacity that's been missing in the whole part. Eighty percent of the deaths in Iraq on the American side come now from IEDs. They have fought us head to head and they've stopped because we've been killing them. Yeah. So what they've done is they've withdrawn from firefights for the most part. And they're doing the IEDs. Well, the way you solve the IED problem is you get information about who's making them and where they're making them, and that comes from building confidence among the people uh, that the central government and the coalition can protect them. You know how Zarqawi was eventually turned over? We did enough of things. We were successful enough of beating Zarqawi down and winning against Al-Qaeda that the people around Zarqawi turned him in. Well, but you know, is, is that consistent, though, with, with the idea of, okay, we don't have to do the, the clearing anymore? Because the fact is, nobody's going to be able to do the clearing as well as we do the clearing. Well, see, the problem is, right, guys, what, what will happen in the future is that the Iraqis will lead in all three phases. Uh -huh. Did you see the firefight on TV yesterday? No. Okay, there was a firefight with about 10 or 20 insurgents. Did and everybody then, have it? or? Yeah, well, uh, 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 I need to go, I can go back and look at yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 Kevin said you get it. You had an American guy shooting with an Iraqi guy shooting and as he was shooting he was explaining to the Iraqi watch this point over here he's going to pop back up literally fighting and teaching 